Welcome to the Effortless English Show with the world's number one English teacher, A.J. Hogue, where A.J.'s more than 40 million students worldwide finally learn English once and for all without the boring textbooks, classrooms, and grammar drills. Here's A.J. with a quick piece to help you learn to speak fluent English effortlessly. Hi, I'm A.J. Hogue, the author of Effortless English, Learn to Speak English Like a Native. Go to EffortlessEnglish.com. Enter your email for a free copy of my audiobook, EffortlessEnglish.com. Today's topic, juicing. I just finished a great book called Juicing Power, Juicing Power by Mike Cernovich. This is a great book, really great book on juicing. Now, by juicing, what I mean, of course, are making fresh vegetable and fruit juices. Why am I talking about this in a podcast about learning and education? Because, as you know, as I talk about a lot, our bodies and minds are connected. I mean, your brain is part of your body. And when you have a lot of physical energy, when your physical vitality, it means your physical health, your physical energy is high, when you are free of disease, when you feel fantastic physically, it affects your thinking, it affects your brain, it affects your emotions. And all of these things help you to learn faster. When you're feeling great physically, when you're very, very healthy and fit, it's easier for you to focus, easier for you to concentrate. Your memory will be better. All of these things will help you to improve your English learning. And learning anything in life. And not just learning, but performing. Performing anything as a parent, right? You need energy, you know this. (laughs) Little kids have a ton of energy. And if you're going to be a good parent, you need to have a high level of energy too. You know, when you look around, you see parents and they're uh, walking around. They look like they're half dead. They're not being very good parents. They just can't give their child leadership and even love and affection when they're exhausted. Uh, That's when you see the parents get kind of nasty and get in a bad mood and scream at their kids and do crazy stuff. And you hear about in the news all the time, like, you know, parents losing their minds and doing horrible things to kids. But even at a normal level, it's, you need a high level of energy. Then you can be a great dad. Then you can be a great mom because you can match that energy of your child. In business, if you own your own business, then you you know what I'm talking about, requires a ton of energy. Business owners don't just work little normal 40 hour work weeks, right? There there are always new projects, always problems, always challenges. And you gotta have a high level of mental and physical energy to keep going day after day after day when you have your own business. And if you want to be a great high performer at your job, same thing. The high performers tend to be people who have a lot of energy. Now, they may also have great skills and great motivation and other things, but you don't usually see someone who's a high performer in business, in any career, really, in teaching. It doesn't matter what the job or the career area is. The high performers have high energy. You almost never see someone who's just kind of tired all the time doing a great job and being a top performer, right? So this thing, this this high level of energy, well, it starts with your body. Now, our emotions can help, right? If you're very motivated, you're very excited, you're very passionate about something, such as learning English, whatever, travel, then that will increase your energy some. But for long-term energy every single day, day after day after day, to keep going after your goals, after your dreams, to stay at a high level of performance, of concentration, of determination, you need physical energy, right? You need that energy in your body. Now, we all generally know how to be healthy 
and fit. I mean, we all know we need to exercise and there are hundreds, thousands of ways to do it. I'm not going to talk about that today. We also know there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of diets out there. Just get on an online bookstore like Amazon.com or search for diets or food plans or whatever. You're going to get book after book after book, you know, high protein, low protein, this, that, ah, lots and lots and lots of things. They contradict each other, meaning they say the opposite of each other sometimes. All of this can be very confusing. But I'll tell you something that I've noticed because I read a lot of these books. I'm very interested in health and fitness. There is one thing they all agree on. The paleo diet, which is a high protein diet, no grains. A vegan diet, which is no animal protein at all. But both sides will agree on one thing. You need to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables, fruits and vegetables, right? Everybody agrees on this. All the doctors agree about that. All the researchers agree about that. The high protein paleo guys over here and the, the vegans who won't eat anything from an animal over here, they also agree. Lots and lots of fruits and vegetables. Juicing is the simplest and easiest way I know to get lots of fruits and vegetables every single day. In fact, if there's one magic bullet of health, if I had to pick one, it would be juicing. Now, a magic bullet, what does that mean? A magic bullet means one simple, easy solution that solves all the problems. Usually in life, things are more complicated. There's, usually there are not magic bullets. Usually you need to do several things. And with your health, of course, there are several things. First of all, you do need to exercise. You need to get out there and move your body and move it a lot. And there are other aspects of looking at diet and nutrition. But this will do about 80% of it, in my opinion. Just juicing, juicing, juicing every day. Because what juicing does, it gives you just a huge amount of nutrition from fresh fruit and fresh vegetables. You see different recommendations. Some, some people will say you need to eat five fruits and vegetables, five servings of fruits and veggies every day. Others will say eight, and others will say even more. How do you do it? Well, you know, honestly, I don't really like eating vegetables that much. I, there are some I like, but just eating like huge salads with tons of raw veggies, for me, it is really, really tough. I have tried doing it. And I, I've done it, I've managed to do it for a while, sometimes for a few weeks, even a few months, but never consistently, I could never keep doing it. It's just so hard to eat, to eat five carrots, for example. That's hard to sit down, have five carrots in front of you and eat them all at one time. For a lot of people, that's difficult to do. But to get five carrots and put them in a juicer and then drink down the glass of carrot juice, that's easy. It tastes great. Carrot juice is actually very tasty, very sweet. Uh, and what? You get a ton of nutrition. You get five carrots of nutrition in one quick shot, one quick drink. That's why I call it a magic bullet. The other thing, nice thing about juicing, because if you get a good juicer, especially, it's pulling out all that nutrition, all the good parts in there, and just getting rid of the fiber. Now, the fiber is good for you, but again, it's hard to eat all of that fiber. But you're, you're getting it in a, in a way that's very, very easy for your body to digest, right? If you eat a carrot, then it's harder. Your body has to break up the fiber to get the nutrition out. But when you drink it, the juicer, the machine, takes that fiber out for you. So now your body can just absorb it very, very easily with very little energy required. This is another great thing about juicing. Another reason I love juicing is that it's proven. It's proven. 
my two all-time favorite health gurus, health teachers. People who, two people, two guys, two men, who lived it. They're two pioneers, we say. Two of the early um, health and fitness coaches, teachers in America. Paul Bragg, who he's, he's been dead for quite a long time now. Uh, he, he was one of the originals. And then his student, Jack LaLanne, who died a few years ago. Both of these guys were big, big, big into juicing. They both said, juice, juice, juice. They both did fresh vegetable and fruit juices every single day for the reasons I've just told you. And these guys, what was the result? Both of them lived into their 90s. Jack LaLanne died at age 96 or 97. Paul Bragg, around the same age when he died. I can't remember. It was in his 90s also. More importantly to me, it's not just the number they lived to be 97. It's that until they died, they were strong and energetic and healthy. You can go on YouTube and do a search. You do, it, do it after you watch this show. Jack LaLanne, age 95, something like, or age 96. You'll find an interview with him. Uh, one of the last interviews he did, uh, he was promoting his book. That's right, he wrote a new book at age 95, I think it was. And then he went on TV to promote the book, and he's jumping around, and he's got all this energy, and he's telling jokes. He's got more energy, he had more energy, than a lot of 25-year-olds that I see. <laughs> it's amazing. So he had, both of these guys had long lives, but also they lived very strong until the end. Paul Bragg also lived into his 90s. He died surfing, surfing. So he's 90, whatever, 95 years old, and he's out there surfing. And there wasn't, he had a, some kind of surfing accident and died. I don't know exactly what happened. So we're all going to die, but wouldn't you like to still be uh, surfing or running around and jumping around with a lot of energy and writing books and doing great things even into your 90s? I would. I certainly would. So these are two great examples. And both of these guys were huge, huge, huge proponents of juicing. A proponent is somebody who recommends something. So if you're a proponent of juicing means you recommend juicing. So they were both big proponents of juicing. And each of them felt that juicing was a major reason for their own health and longevity, for living so long and being strong. Now, both men also exercised a lot. They had a lot of fitness activities as well, but we'll talk about that in another podcast. Now, and then for my own personal experience, I've noticed um, the times when I'm juicing consistently, I mean every single day, I don't miss a day, I notice after about one week, my energy just shoom, jumps up. I start feeling fantastic. That has happened recently to me. We were in the United States earlier this year. I was not juicing daily maybe not even weekly. Um, I was eating at restaurants a lot. I gained weight. My energy was lower. Ugh. Came back to Japan, started eating a little more healthily, but still my energy was better, but not great. And then I just decided time to get back on juicing again, especially after I read Mike Cernovich's book. It inspired me to do it again. And it's been... I don't know, maybe 10 days, a week to 10 days of juicing every single day. I'm starting to feel fantastic. I can feel my energy rising, rising, going up. And as my physical energy goes up, so does my mood, my, my emotions. I just feel more, I don't know, more excited, more passionate about things. So, a lot of times on the show, when I do live shows, when I do periscopes, one of the common questions I get on Twitter too, is something like, hey Jay, oh, I just get, I'm just kind of tired, I've lost my motivation, I can't concentrate when I listen to the lessons, 
some version of that, right? And I give different answers, but one of the best answers really I can give if you want a long-term solution, if you really want to raise your mental energy, your physical energy, your feeling of health and vitality, start juicing. Juice, 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 juice every single day. Now, I highly recommend Mike Cernovich's book. So again, Juice Power. You can find it on Amazon.com. I'll put a link on Twitter for it. I like the book because it's very simple. Some juicing books can be a little complicated. You know, they say, oh, you have to drink the juice at a certain time of day and don't drink juice and eat with food at the same time or, oh, don't make the juice too sweet. And, <sighs> I like Cernovich's book because it's just, it's just direct. It's direct, simple, it just says, hey, make a lot of juice every day. Juice fresh fruits and veggies. Do it every time you make a meal, do it anytime, drink it with a meal, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, just get, the, get those veggies, get that fruit, get that nutrition into your body every single day. You're going to feel fantastic. So don't make it complicated. One thing I do advise is um, try to combine fruits and vegetables both. Fruits typically add some sweetness, which some people, uh, a lot of people, prefer to have a little bit sweetness in their juice. Uh, but then also try to do something green and get some veggies in there because uh, they're just so, so, so nutritious. Uh, my personal favorite, I'll give you my personal favorite recipe, but you can play with anything you want. It doesn't matter. Just try different combinations of, of veggies and fruit. Find the ones that you like. What I do is I like to do some, something green, so kale or spinach or even cabbage. So that'll be one, something green. Uh, and then definitely a couple carrots. Um, usually maybe a piece of celery. Uh, usually I do one apple. And then I like, I like mine to have a little bit of a kick. So I love to put lemons and limes in there. I'll usually do two lemons or limes. It's, it's a little strong. Some people might not like that, but I love it. And I also like to put ginger in mine which also gives it a little kick, a little sharp taste to it, a little spiciness almost. So you can try whatever you want, whatever's local for your area. Cucumber, ah, cucumber too, that's right. I always use cucumber in my, my normal juice, my normal daily juice. All right, well, that's it. I encourage you to go. Now, where do you get a juicer? Again, you can um, do research this online. Every country is going to be different. My personal recommendation is the Omega Company. I feel like they make the best juicers. And they're also the easiest to clean. It's because the juice, it makes a mess afterwards. Omega juicers, I find, are very easy to clean. I've had many other types of juicers, and some of them are really not easy to clean. So Omega Juicer, do a search online for Omega Juicer. That's the one I recommend. If it's too expensive, just get a cheap one. Just get anything. Any juice is better than none. All right. As always, you can find me on Gab or on Twitter. And my account name is the same on both. It's just my name, AJ Hogue, A-J-H-O-G-E. So send me questions or comments on Gab or on Twitter. As always, the transcripts, the text for this show will be available on EffortlessEnglishClub.com. Go to my blog at EffortlessEnglishClub.com. In a few days, I'll have the text transcripts for this show and for all shows. See you. Bye for now.